Yesterday, um, something happened in the Millie Weaver case. Um, you can see from court view here, this is a snapshot or a screenshot of court view um, from the Portage County um, uh, court system, district court system, showing that uh, the case of Millie Weaver has been dismissed. If you look at 10, uh, over here it says 10, 21, 10 a.m., courtroom four, uh, the criminal pretrial, the case is dismissed. And the judge was Becky Doherty. So all all charges have been um, dismissed. Here's a picture of Millie Weaver looking defiant as she comes out of the Portage County um, courtroom um, wearing um, uh, this nice dress um, that um, oh, she's been cleared of all charges. So she gave a statement when she came out and let's listen to that statement right now. No evidence, therefore no case. The real question is, why was this case even filed in the first place? How did they get a secret grand jury indictment with no evidence? Hmm, isn't that interesting? Well, first of all, I want to thank everyone that stood by me while I was being persecuted. And so you can see that um, she gave a statement when she came out, um, basically saying the case was dismissed. And you can go to her um, Twitter page. Um, but I think this is interesting here. So she wrote this tweet. Um, I'm keeping tabs on those who made videos about my false arrest on social media to throw me under the bus. Let's see if they bother to cover my exoneration, having all charges dropped at the pretrial hearing. I'm not holding my breath, nor will bite my tongue when the um, time comes. So let's look into that because this is very interesting. I noticed this as well. So if you go to Google and you type Millie Weaver, just her name, and they're showing all results here. Let's just look at some of the results. Um, this was from August 17 when she was arrested. Um, again, from August 17. Um, so there's lots of results for her getting arrested. This is the point I'm making. Now let's click on the News tab. Here's the News tab. Um, so it shows August 17th. These are the most recent results. Her getting arrested. Her getting arrested. Look at all these news stories of covering her getting arrested on August 17th, August 15th. Um, and then here's a news story three days ago. Who is Millie Weaver? And should we care um, if this right wing, whatever. Uh, but again, prior to her exoneration. Again, uh, Huffington Post, August 20. Um, so tons and tons of news stories of her getting arrested. I could go through results and results of news story of her getting arrested. So far I've seen nothing of her exoneration. Nothing whatsoever at all of her exoneration. Here's some pictures of Millie Weaver if you click on that on the photo section. You can see there's pictures of her and Caitlin Bennett, pictures of her and um, I think uh, Nigel Farage, um, she's a conservative journalist who used to work at InfoWars. Um, there's her on the beach. Um, her smiling, I guess, after she got exonerated. Not sure when that was taken. Um, promotional picture with her in Shadowgate. Um, so she's a conservative journalist who, um, let's just say, um, used to work at InfoWars. No long, Alex Jones turned her back on her when she got arrested. Um, these false charges came out against her. And um, um, right at the exact same time that she was releasing a documentary, um, Shadowgate, which basically was very critical of the deep state. So it was highly suspicious. And it just seemed like she was being arrested in retaliation for making this documentary. And... I think the fact that these charges were dismissed will just um, go further to um, kind of feed that sort of theory on what happened. In my opinion, I think that's exactly what happened. I don't think that the prosecutor wanted to file the charges, but they were given pressure from somewhere up above them, and um, they had to file the charges, and um, she was arrested on a Friday, she was held in prison in a, in a jail um, over the weekend, and then she made bond on, uh, on Monday. And she gave um, 
a live stream update after she was released from prison. She couldn't talk about the case because of a gag order, but where she talks about how um, there were security cameras everywhere. She had to take a shower in the prison um, over the weekend, and um, there were security cameras that you know could pan and tilt, I believe is what she said, and they were pointed right at her the whole time she was taking the shower. So now all of a sudden the Portage County prison system or a jail is going to have surveillance video of her basically naked taking a shower and um, now that's out there and she's worried about that and she should be i mean there was no reason for them to arrest her especially on the type of charges that she was charged with on a friday she could not um you know bond out or 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 um, post bail um she couldn't have a hearing an arraignment or anything like that until the following weekend until the following monday so and not only was she arrested, but her husband was arrested as well, and her brother was arrested, meaning that um, her sister, I think it was her sister, had to take care of her children over the weekend. And, um, um, and then CPS got involved, and they were threatening to take her children. And she goes on to talk about how if it wasn't for a GoFundMe account, a legal defense account that was set up where tons of people donated to it, and she got over $100,000 in donations, um, she would not have been able to hire lawyers to get to the point where this case would be dismissed. Because I can guarantee you, if that fund hadn't have come through for her, um, these charges would not have been dismissed. Um, this is a disturbing situation, and I agree with her. Um, when she got arrested, it went, it spread across the country like wildfire wildfire and now that she has been exonerated and all the charges have been dismissed and she's completely free and clear it's like crickets there's no news stories whatsoever at all highly disturbing so here are some of the top um, tweets on this Millie Weaver situation let's uh, listen to this um, really briefly again thank you if you supported me thank you please share this message because we all know that the mainstream media is probably not going to cover the fact that these charges were dropped, that the case was dismissed, that there should have never been a case in the first place. Um, I know the media sure covered my arrest. It's going to be interesting to see who covers my exoneration, who covers the fact that I've been proven innocent in a court of law and that this should have never happened in the first place. So thank you. And, you know, it's very unfortunate that many um, so true there. I think we made that point. This uh, tweet also, um, um, I don't think that, oh, I thought these were the top tweets on Millie Weaver. Don't know why that tweet's on there. Um, all charges dropped in case dismissed. Prosecution had zero evidence. I mean, that's why they uh, dismissed the charge, because of zero evidence. Standing defiantly. Let's see here. I feel like we're still on Millie Weaver's page. Latest. Let's go to latest. Now, there's not a lot. Of, I mean, it's like a, it's like crickets. There's not a lot of tweets out there sh showing that she has been exonerated. This is absolutely crazy. I can't. I can't even believe that. Uh, like literally, when she was arrested. It spread like wildfire. I think it was even trending on Twitter for a little bit. And now, nothing. I posted a video about her exoneration on my YouTube channel yesterday, and these are some of the comments that I got. Uh, thank you, Josh, for the update. Uh, first, uh, the first thing they always do is try to discredit the person delivering the truth. They are all running scared. Um... For those who don't know, Millie spent a horrible weekend in jail. She was arrested on Friday intentionally so that they could hold her until Monday when a judge would be available to set bail. Clearly someone higher up than the local police told the sheriff to do this. I hope Millie is able to identify those higher ups that are responsible um, in, in her lawsuit. Um, in her um, statement that she gave after her exoneration, she said that she would most likely be filing a lawsuit um, because of this. Kimberly Cook wrote, the cop who arrested her and the prosecutor should be charged with kidnapping. Now, there were a lot of replies to that one. Uh, not the officers, just the prosecutor. 
Renee Hansen wrote, um, um, and then Kimberly Cook wrote, in, in the military, if you obey an illegal order, you are just as guilty as the individual giving the order. Um, it was a strange setup. Cops didn't even have the arrest papers. That person obviously is referring, trying to cast dispersion on whether she was arrested um, for political reasons. Um, Kimberly Cook responded to that then. Why did the cops arrest her then? Um, isn't that acting under color of law and engaging in armed kidnapping? Um, and uh, Jane Doe replied to Kim Kimberly Cook saying, I agree wholeheartedly. The state has uh, severely overstepped its bounds. I am hoping that people across this country will come forward and share similar experiences um, that most of us never have heard of. I suspect it is in the thousands. I hope that would be in her next video about her experience. I can say from firsthand experience that um, I have been retaliated against. And when I went on social media and um, told my story, I've been getting, I would say, hundreds if not thousands of people have contacted me since I first went for, uh, came forward um, seven or eight years ago telling me of similar experiences. So you're dead on, uh, Jane Doe. I'm sure that's not your real name, but your YouTube comment name is Jane Doe. Um, thanks for reporting Millie's outcome. Mr. Wolf wrote, time for a lawsuit to break their pockets. Unfortunately, most of these local sheriff's departments and police departments have insurance for lawsuits, you know, malpractice insurance or whatever they call it. And um, um, the majority of the time, the insurance companies is who covers the outcome of the lawsuit if there is a financial um, payment that needs to be made. So awesome. I hope she sues them into oblivion. I always knew that it would end this way. Uh, Millie, move out of that county, girl. This would be the first on my list of things to do. I'd have to agree with that. Although, if that's her home county, um, being intimidated out of your home place, your place where you grew up or whatever, is just wrong. So I would say fight the system. The system's probably going to win, but go down fighting. That's my philosophy. I am so very glad to see you reporting on Millie Weaver's total exoneration and that all charges were dropped. This is further evidence that you are a true and honest reporter and journalist. We shall see if other reporters will report the facts like you have. I am so happy the charges were dropped. I hope everyone will continue to support her in any way that they can to continue to pray for her and her um, family and loved ones and everyone she works for in the name of Jesus Christ. I appreciate and thank you too, Joshua Gray P. I, I admire you and what you um, do and sometimes think I missed my calling possibly of detective work. I think you do a good job exposing the works of darkness. I pray for you also almost daily. You are in my prayer book. I hope everyone will also pray and continue to pray for you and your family and loved ones and everyone who works with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, I appreciate that. That is really awesome. Um, so often... When I'm reading through comments, I see nasty comments directed at me, calling me all sorts of names. So I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Shadow over Shadowgate. She has been robbed reputationally and financially. Thank God Millie got free and hope she pulls a Nick Sandman on them. Grand juries are always secret. So um, that is true that grand juries are, are always secret. But it's so rare that grand juries are formed for charges like this. Basically means that the officers went out, they didn't have enough evidence to charge her, they dropped the case, and then at some point, the prosecutor, probably from pressure from higher ups, forms a grand jury as cover to get an indictment. That's what happened in this case. It's not normal. Nothing about that is normal. Although your comment that grand juries are secret is true, nothing about Millie Weaver's secret grand jury indictment is normal whatsoever at all. Um, wonderful news from Tim um, Spofowitz, I guess. Um, thank you for the update. We love you, Millie. That's why we fought uh, for you. Truth will always triumph over lies in the end. I'm so glad you're okay, Millie. I think the Lord is blessing you and helping you because of all the people 
that are praying for you. Um, William Collins writes, she'll first need to see who is behind this. The fact that she um, has a sizable war chest plays a major factor in this decision. I'm sure I agree with that 100%. Now there are many kinds of tricks the state can play, especially in um, Ohio. Please explain exonerated, charges dropped, charges dismissed, no prosecutions, and of fines, fees, and bail with or without prejudice. Um, that's a good question. I don't know whether the charges were dropped. Dismissed usually means they can't bring them. Maybe if new evidence comes forward in the future, they could refile the charges. If it was um, without prejudice, then they could refile. If it was with prejudice, then they can't refile. That's just legal maneuvering, but I can assure you, most likely, she's in the clear. Um, she sues them, could... If she, if she sues them, they could reinstate the charges in retaliation. Um, but, I mean, it would be very transparent that that's what they were doing. Um, they are pretty... I'll, I'll, I'll skip that part. Um, Penny Webb wrote, sue them for malicious prosecution. Um, Brian writes, Millie is as close as you're going to get to an all-American girl. She is smart. Oh, well, something happened there. I lost my... Millie is as close as you're going to get to an all-American girl. She is smart, competent, and a fighter for our God-given rights. Uh, you forgot to capitalize God there, but I won't uh, say anything. I hope she sues the crap out of um, them. This is what happens when the law is weaponized. Sad day in America. I'm ready for her when she needs me. Um, Michael Dose wrote, Of course they were dropped and they were bogus to begin with. She had to spend her entire weekend... Man, I keep losing this. What am I doing here? She had to spend her entire weekend in prison. Um, she was cuffed and stuffed. <laughs> the elite foot soldiers were sent to publish and threaten her. As she, um, um, as usual, they were just doing their job. Quote, quote, they were just doing her job. Millie was punished by the elites and there is no one doing that. Most people wouldn't even have um, the wherewithal to have their record expunged. This all goes back to um, qualified immunity and demonstrates how important that is to the elites, which is a really good point I've covered in other videos on my channel. Um, but qualified immunity basically means that the police can go, um, are protected even when they go sort of to the uh, f very close to the line of illegal activity. Now, if they actually cross the line into illegal activity, um, then qualified immunity doesn't cover them. But in most cases, police are immune from prosecution for violating people's rights and doing things that um, are not within the law. Like, for instance, you know, going... A great example of it is when they're, they're able to go above the speed limit in order to catch people or even just drive down the road above the speed limit. They're covered by qualified immunity. Um, file a civil case in federal court. Um, I believe she's planning on doing that. Congratulations, Millie. Thank you, Josh, for posting this. I really like Millie. She probably was the first person to change my life and political views. I couldn't believe someone like her ex existed because I was so, quote, indoctrinated. But I would still keep watching her clips and interviews, then followed her story. She got pregnant, fired from InfoWars. Um, what happened there? Then this weird arrest, which I read about, I just stopped being able to follow what was going on with her anymore. I'm glad she's okay and exonerated. Hope she catches a break in the future. I don't think that order happened. I think she um, got fired from InfoWars as a result of this arrest because um, Alex AJ had no um, interest in sticking by her. And... Um, even the documentary she made, Shadowgate, was taken off Band.video, which is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Um, uh, Band.video was set up so that videos that were banned could not be taken off them. So she was banned from Band.video, which just... I, I've kind of lost, as a result of that, I've lost so much respect for AJ. Um, not that I had a lot for him in the beginning. Anyway, but I did 
you know, occasionally check in with him. Since her arrest, I've not once checked in on the um, Infowars site or AJ. Completely lost all respect for him. Um, journalist, they don't want that kind of pu publicity. I'm not sure where you're going with that comment, but um, it's true that, um, I mean, you don't want to be arrested and have false charges against you and then have it spread like wildfire all across the internet um, only a few weeks later to have the charges dropped and nobody covers the exoneration but everybody covered the um, um, the charge and then Pink Arissa, Pink Arissa <laughs> writes, oh your GF is free obviously being um, insulting um, this person asked for what her channel is. Um, it's Millennial Millie. Millennial Millie. I'll go to it in a second here. Um, uh, USA is illegitimate. No more due process. I hate the USA now like Mexico so corrupt. Um, it's getting that way and if we don't fight for change then it will remain that way. Let's go to her channel here. Um, actually Sorry, hold on. So this is um, Millennial Millie's channel. It's um, she has 446k subscribers. Um, she has um, a whole bunch of videos on here, including her exoneration video. It looks like, um, but this is what her channel looks like. Um, I encourage everybody to go to her channel. I'll include it in the description um, in this video. And um, I'm going to end the video now, but just as I end it, I'm going to type her name into Google here. Hit the search button. I'll hit it again. So I'm refreshing the searches. Uh, everything is 100% refreshed right now. And look, the top results are still all the reports and news articles of her um, um, charge. This one three days ago is also about her charge, not about her exoneration. August 20, August 18, all the same results. Everything um, about her being charged, nothing about her exoneration. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, comment on this video. Check out Millie Weaver's channel. Um, I mean, this is absolutely wrong and a miscarriage of justice. And Millie Weaver's reputation has been harmed as a result of these false charges and she has a great lawsuit and I hope that she goes forward with it. I, cur I encourage her to go forward with it. Um, unfortunately it's going to be a frustrating process. It's going to be a long process um, but stay strong. Stay true. You do have a lot of supporters out there. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the Shadowgate documentaries. I think there is some things in them that are of concern, but I I will fight with all my might for independent journalists and YouTubers like Millie Weaver to have a voice and have the right to not be retaliated for posting on social media because I believe that's what happened to her. The reason I have so much sympathy for that is because I myself have been retaliated for posting on social media. I was critical of a police involved shooting involving the Maine State Police and because of my criticism they retaliated against me. So I have a lot of sympathy for people like Millie Weaver who were retaliated against simply for posting on social media. What are your thoughts? Um, subscribe to my channel, um, like this video, share this video. Um, all those things help the YouTube algorithms um, spread the video around YouTube, um, and I really appreciate you watching.